How's it going? Uh, I already showed you the um, <clears throat> that in-text screen, the modification to it, how it goes on uh, this Xbox. This, the orange Xbox there, I've painted it. it. It actually looked really good when I first did it. I glued that jewel on and uh, the super glue. I should not have used super glue. I should not have done it the way I did it. It really screwed up the paint job. And as I get closer, you'll see that. It's a really pretty metal flake. It's a beautiful color, but I really screwed it up. So try not to focus on that too much. Uh, so now I have to get closer and you'll see all the imperfections. But uh, what I've done, <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to do, uh, you know, there's some, there's a lot of flaws with the paint job. But anyway, um, I was trying to install a power indicator. So basically when you turn the Xbox on, um, there's no indication that until you press the power button on the front. Okay, let me just explain this. So right now the charger is plugged in and it's charging the batteries. Okay. Um, but the power supply, the powers the Xbox is not powered right now. Um, so we flip that switch, powers it on, and you can see uh, the indicator that I installed shows the power level. Now, we will go ahead and unplug it from power, and you'll see I've got it set. Uh, it loses one of the 10 bars whenever it does that. That's okay. Um, I wanted an indication, because to charge a battery, you always have to apply a higher voltage. The batteries will never actually... Due to their internal resistance, they'll never actually get to the same charge as the voltage you apply to charge them. They'll always be somewhat lower than that. So here we can see that uh, the jewel was painted semi-transparent. This all did look good at first. Uh, uh, I'm so disappointed with my paint job. But anyway, um, so now we can go ahead and turn it on. And we can see our controller. That it works and so now uh, as the battery dies um, you get and this this does not show you zero volts this just takes it from fully charged to where where the lithium-ion batteries are actually dead uh, so they charge up to 12 6 and they drop down to 10 8 so that last tick uh, it has 10 ticks. The last one is actually, you know, they're completely dead at 10.8. You, you can continue. The uh, power supply will use them until 6 volts. So you actually have double the battery life of what I'm telling you. The problem is, whenever you, that's called deep cycling, and it, with lithium, well, with any battery, deep cycling it um, takes away from the total charge that it will have next time. Basically, it causes gasification inside the battery, and its capacity is lessened. So, uh, people take issue with that all the time. It's a fact. You can look it up. It's true. Especially with lithium ion, they lose 50% of their overall charge every time. That's why people, when they first get a cell phone, it, it does great. And then they let it go to zero. And then they recharge it and it works. But for significantly less amount of time. And they keep doing it and doing it. And then their battery, you know, their phone won't stay on. That's why. Um... The battery dies over time anyway, but when you do that, you really accelerate that process. So I, I went ahead and set this so that it won't do that. Um, so that's where we're at now. We, ha we know when the Xbox is on with this indicator. We also know its state of charge. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically buy more paint. And I have several Xboxes here. You see one there another one there that I was modding there's there's cases all over the place so I'm gonna reattempt this uh, and touch all this up it will eventually look better but I think oh and I don't know if I focused on this much at all ever this was that um, it's really low temperature molding plastic um, I got some of that just to mold those speakers on I know it looks bad I'm gonna make all this look better but these videos were just proof of concept these are not you know, I'm not trying to market this. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to sell this. There's no, there's no real market for it. So I just wanted to do it for myself, prove it could be done, and uh, we've done that now. And so I'm pretty happy. Uh, any questions anybody has, you know, respond to the videos. Um, 
look up the Xbox modding group I've got. It's called Xbox Modding Trading Collectors, something like that. Uh, you'll find it if you just look up Xbox Modding on Facebook. Um, there's around 300 members right now. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, some good people in there. So anyway, uh, look forward to hearing your comments and, um, you know, I'll help you with any, any way I can. I'm also gonna, going to make a tutorial uh, now that it's complete. So anyway, thanks guys.